Mushroom Wonderland. Hey, what's up? This is Aaron Hilliard. I'm out here um, taking a walk. It is the 24th day of September. Uh, awfully late start to the mushroom season this year, 2020. Just been a bad year all around, but I think uh, mushrooms are going to go crazy here soon. I, it is not obvious that any significant kind of mushroom is fruiting right now. I'm out here in a second growth forest. Um, so you can see a lot of moss on the ground, a lot of salal, and this area is carpeted with mushrooms uh, in the height of the season, which would probably, probably be in about a month from right now. Right now I'm just coming out here kind of to see what somebody might expect at about 400 feet above sea level in the Puget Sound see what kind of mushrooms are growing. We're gonna go have a look, get my eyes as sharp as I can, and hopefully we will find some mushrooms to confirm that we have happy mycelium out here in the woods, that the rain is in fact starting to work, and mushrooms are starting to pop and kick off. As you can see, the forest I'm in has a pond out here, freshwater little lake. A lot of bass in there. There's a lot of deer out here. It's pretty wild here. This has all been logged before, but it's, I don't know if you'd even call this second growth, but I'll tell you what, I've found every conceivable type of mushroom in these forests of the Puget Sound. Anywhere where there's salal and these big wood ferns and, and a black huckleberry all good spots, all good indicators of good mushroom habitat. And you can tell by these puddles that things are definitely getting wet enough. What do I have right down here? This. This is a remnant of what appears to be a chanterelle. There's just a little piece of it laying here. I'd venture to say that some animals got a hold of that. Right here last year, right here, I found Matsutake buttons uh, growing right on the side of the trail. Somebody came through and cleared this trail a little bit, which I hope didn't disturb it too much. Right now, it's just, it's just too young. What we got here? This. That looks like dog shit. Cool. You can see this pond is surrounded by beautiful forest. This is truly a mushroom wonderland when the mushrooms start popping. I have found literally every variety of mushroom that I'd want to find ever growing right out here. I found uh, chanterelles and matsutake and porcinis and chicken of the woods and shaggy manes and bluets and gypsy mushrooms and the prince and um, the boletus mirabilis, the, the queen bolete, um, boletus fibrillosis. Uh, man, you name it, I have found every good mushroom out here, so it's just too early. Give it maybe another week and uh, guarantee there's gonna be a lot of mushrooms growing out here after this rainfall. Although there's some cool, some cool bird nest fungi. That's pretty cool. But this little guy, and we're gonna, oh, he's attached to this stick, so let's have a look at what that is. And it appears to be some type of little polypore. This is a, uh, gosh, almost looks like teeth under there. But it's, uh, it's not, this is just some kind of a polypore believe clearly growing on dead wood 
There's a sign of fungi growth in the forest. These are the first mushrooms that I've seen this season of, of uh, autumn 2020. Oh, look at here. So there we go, some of our first mushrooms. Chanterelle, it's kind of a white chanterelle, and some Mycena species. Here, another white chanterelle. So cool. A couple mushrooms for the basket. And I did not see those when I was walking by. So mushrooms have a way of doing that. They really, they're really hiding down here in the duff. Um, and if somebody cut one here, you can see a stump. But, uh, so these are the first mushrooms that I've really seen this this autumn so far we it just started raining about five days ago out here and uh, second growth conifer forest so we got a couple of keepers a couple of these white chanterelles and those will go in the basket so, there's mushrooms yay so these are the first mushrooms that we found of 2020 a couple of white chanterelles and a little bit of mycena so I'm out here today just scouting to see what are the first mushrooms popping up after the first autumn rains here in the Puget Sound. These are my findings. White chanterelle, Mycena, and uh, the chanterelles are going in the basket, so. There we go, kickstarting the 2020 mushroom season. Let's get some mushrooms, baby. First mushrooms to be found this autumn. You can see some things peeking out of this, peeking out of this moss here. And if we peel it back a little bit, what do we got? We've got twisted, deformed chanterelle, white chanterelles. Oh, more chanterelles. There's another one. And these, a little past their prime. Got some soft spots, a little mush. So these might in fact not be from this most recent rain. They've probably been here a little while. Not a big fan of the rotting spot. I'm gonna leave these for the forest. But yep, so confirmed first substantial mushroom besides Mycena that we have found. Another example of a, a guarantee this was a chanterelle at some point. You can tell by the way it strings apart like string cheese that is indicative of a chanterelle mushroom. And so white, white chanterelles all over. I know. Shut up, man. Listen to this guy. He's like, let's go hunt for mushrooms. Once again, right down here, another white chanterelle. This one's pretty beat up. You can see how worn out it is. There's insects on it. Definitely uh, flies and fly larvae in there. Slimy. So I gonna have to take a uh, hard pass on that. I'll go ahead and pass on that same species of mycena as before you can see all these little all these little mycena mushrooms they're pretty and then right here pushing up through the moss this is quite a bit larger couple of white chanterelle mushrooms These ones are in better shape. And look at the mycelium. That's happy chanterelle mycelium. Personally, I, I'm like, you guys, you guys, just relax there, all right? You ain't gonna miss these good boys. But these are going in the basket. This is good eating right here, so. It looks like the white chanterelle it is for the win for the first mushroom in the forest. This is September 24th, 
Watch what happens over the next couple weeks in this forest since we got this new rain. The mushrooms are gonna be everywhere. And the white chanterelle is actually normally somewhat hard to find right here. I don't I don't really go looking for them. Personally, not a I kind of like the golden ones better. I think they got more flavor to them. But uh, I won't pass up a good white chanterelle when I find one. Unless I have buckets and buckets of gold ones. But uh, I've only found a couple of white chanterelle over out here. And today I've found four or five. So this goes to show that different mushrooms are fruiting at different times. And it seems to me that Boletus edulis, the porcini, the mushroom I'm really after, they seem to be a somewhat early season mushroom. I seem to find those right towards the end of September last year and the year before and in early October. And they seem to go away before Matsutake come out, which is when it gets a little colder. So, um, but white chanterelles for the win for the first mushroom in the forest. Thanks for watching Mushroom Wonderland. 